What's up guys, welcome back to Joe Vester Trades. My name is Joseph and this is the second video to a seven part series on TradingView for beginners. In today's video, we'll cover how to use TradingView's drawing tools. TradingView has a lot of drawing tools that you can use, so definitely stay tuned. If you go on to enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more trading content like this. Also, if you wanna be a part of a free trading community where we can talk about any of the stocks you're interested in buying or even hopping into some of my plays, make sure to check out the Discord channel in the description down below. So now that we have TradingView pulled up, I'm gonna go over the many different drawing tools that they have and how you can use them. Right here, the first thing on the um, left side of your chart, if you hover over this arrow right here, it will show all the trend line tools that they have. As you can see, they have a lot of them, as I said before. And the first thing you notice here is that they have trend line. So right here, you can um, draw your trends for your um, stock, just like that. And you can actually change the color of the trend if you don't like black. I think the preset color is blue. I changed mine to black, but you can make it whatever color you want. You could change it back to this teal color. You could also change the width of the line so that you could see it better. And there's a lot of custom things that you can do with trading view. So that's the trend line right there. I use this to draw upward trends, downward trends. And you can also have um, your horizontal line. This one, just marks it out both ways showing on your chart from left to right to right you can drag it down move it to wherever you want it on the chart i'm gonna go ahead and delete that another one that i personally love to use is horizontal ray i use this whenever i'm mapping out support and resistance lines so if we pull up a stock like let's say um home depot not hs hd there we go Right here we have Home Depot, and right here you can just mark your horizontal ray, put it at a support line that Home Depot has been forming, and this is very easy to use. You can drag it around if you want, and you can also add text to your um, to your drawing tools. So if you double click on the line, right here we have this text option. We could show text, and we can just put, let's say, I don't know, support line, number one on our chart and it'll show that um, text right there underneath your drawing so that's very helpful if you have different support levels you can add text to that as well and you can also double click change the uh, color of the text to match the line you can change the font you can make it bold just like that and we see the support line one on home depot there's also a uh, arrow ray extended line parallel parallel channels and this is very helpful for upward channels. If we go to a stock like uh, four, right here we can see four is in a nice upward channel. If you want to map that out on your chart, you can simply go to the tools and click on ray. This right here then shows a ray of a line and you can just kind of map out the top overhead resistance on this upward channel. And just like that, it gives you the um, overhead resistance on this channel. And if we click ray again, we could do the bottom as well. And this is how you map out upward channels just like this. And as you can see, whenever you're trading within a channel, you wanna be buying around these support levels, selling around resistance levels. And if you want to help yourself out, you could also add text again, show text and say, you know, bottom support level. Oops, I can't spell. <laughs> And we could change that to black if we want and then click OK. And right over here shows um, bottom support level and we can actually move that around to the middle or actually to the bottom and then do center. So right there, it'll show bottom support level just to give you an idea of when the stock is reaching to that level. If you don't want to use the ray, you can actually remove this uh, these lines. And there's another tool to help you out called parallel channels. And what you can do is simply draw it out like this and then move it to the downside. And there you go. It'll map out the channel that it's forming as well for any stock that's forming this pattern. And you can adjust it to how you want. And this is very simple and easy to use. So TradingView has a lot of drawing tools that you could add to your chart. The main ones that I use 
our trend line, horizontal line, horizontal ray, and then also we'll, we'll have um, our parallel channel that we'll use, use occasionally. And you can actually favorite these so that you don't have to keep, keep clicking back to this area over here. And once you favorite it, it'll actually show up on your chart right here. And you can move this around, put it to the top. So whenever you're ready to draw a horizontal ray, you could just click that and map it out on your chart like that. Some other drawing tools that TradingView has are right over here underneath the, um, the trend lines. We can go to Pitchfork. They also have a big one that a lot of people use, Fibonacci Retracement. Um, they have also, what I like are some rectangles, some circles. So for instance, if we go back, let's say we pull up Pen. Right here on Pen, I see that we have a support right around $97. So if we map out that support, and let's say you analyze charts for anyone, you can actually click Eclipse, and you can kind of map out where these um, support levels are. And let me change that to black so you could see it. And you can move it around just like that, and we can do a fill color of um, gray, so that's easier to see. So right here we have this circle, and this kind of points out the resistance that pen has or you can you know move it over here map out your um support lines so this is good for educating other people you can plot out where exactly pen is forming their support line you can also do um text you can do anchor text call outs anything like that so for instance if we are looking to play a bounce on a pen from this support line we could click text click right underneath the line and we can just type in we could type in looking to play a bounce off of support and just like that it shows the text right here so if you're trying to analyze plays for other people give them watch lists or any ideas for trading charts you can simply map out your support lines like that looking to play a bounce off of support another thing that i like that trading view has is their um long position right here this shows your risk to reward so for instance with pen if we're looking to buy pen anywhere around let's say on this support line we can click right here and then it'll give us a target and a stop loss let me go ahead and remove this text so we can see it better so right here, this is our open um, position where we buy the stock or wherever we're looking to buy. Our target is where we think the stock is gonna go to. So I put the target right around here where their um, resistance is. And then for my stop loss, you know, you can put the stop loss right underneath the um, trend line. So if it breaks below the trend line, you would be out of your play. And this just gives you that risk to reward um, area and right here it shows that we have a 5.53 risk to reward ratio which is really good we're risking a 5% loss for a 30% gain so you can also use that tool also you can use short position if you want which is the opposite and they have many different tools like that also if you want to lock your drawings on your chart let's say we have multiple um, support levels on pen and if we don't want these to be moved let's say we're dragging our chart around and we accidentally move the um the line you can simply just click right here lock all drawing tools and now all these will be locked and you can't move them just like that so that's very helpful if you want to make sure that your um your lines and everything is staying consistent and then we could just uncheck that if we want so those are the main drawing tools that you want to keep an eye on when you're using trading view there's plenty to go through. As I said before, I don't use most of them. The main ones are the trend lines, the, the rays, the short and long positions, also text if I'm analyzing charts for people and sending them ideas. So just go through this. There's plenty to go through, as I've said before. And you can also add emojis to your chart if you want. There's a rocket ship, so that's also pretty helpful. And you can simply just click through any um, company that you want, their spy, everything, and that's where you search up um, the different companies. So let me know what you guys think about the drawing tools that TradingView has to offer in the comment section down below. And if you learned anything from this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the rest of this series. See you in the next one.